Hi, um, sorry it's been a while since my last video and I've just been super busy with um, job applications and interviews and all that sort of boring stuff which like I'm sure as many of you know like finding a job at the minute is like super super hard um, I just think it's ridiculous that like I don't know somewhere for example like oh so I applied at like a supermarket um, just for like a cashier thing, you know, like beep, beep, that sort of thing. Um, and I got replies like, um, oh, you're not qualified enough. And it's just like, last time I checked, you don't need a degree to stack tins or to swipe something across like a scanner. Like, I think it's ridiculous. <coughs> Excuse me. And, you know, people sort of wonder, like, why so many people are unemployed um, in Britain. And it's just because the stupid, stupid, like, qualifications you need for certain roles that you don't need any qualification for at all so that's really frustrating um you know that suddenly people aren't good enough for like the smallest of roles and you know it's just not on really um but yeah i get obviously like i'm not the only one that's having trouble with finding a job so life goes on world keeps turning um so Oh my god, I completely forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> this is really bad. I did have some... Oh, that was it. Oh my god. So, um... Yeah, I've had, like, a few people... Oh, little nipple flash on the side there. Like that. Um, yeah, so, like, a few people have, like, sort of emailed, um, me. I won't, like, mention names, because that's, like, a personal thing. Jack. I'm joking. Um... Yeah, I've had some emails sort of like discussing the whole like eating issue and eating problem that I've like sort of um, dealt with for quite a while now. Um, only recently dealt with, I've ignored it for a while. Um, yeah, like some of the questions have been sort of, um, you know, why do you think um, people get eating disorders? Why do you. Um, how, what, not why, how would you sort of handle that situation if there's a friend, um, sort of, you know, like, oh, no, I had some really nice compliments too, sort of like, oh, you know, I think you're really strong for blogging about it and discussing it, and I'm going to go back with some questions. Um, well, I say questions, the last one was like a compliment. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm just ranting on here. Um, yeah, like, I think, you know, I'm not the only person that's got an eating problem, um, and I think, you know, if I, by not talking about it, I'm not helping myself and I'm not helping anybody else, which is what I want to do. I want to, um, like, I'd like to blog and, you know, someone read it and think like, oh, thank Christ, I'm not the only one here, like, in this sort of position. Because, like, no matter how many friends you have around you, you can feel so, so lonely. Um, and it does get you down, and you know, people are always like, oh, be positive, you know, you know, chin up, and it's just like, no, shut up, you've got no idea what, like, I'm going through, and I think it's quite ignorant and selfish of people just to think that it's, like, you can just get over it, you know, people used to be like, oh, just eat some cake, and it's like, well, it's not quite as simple as just picking up a slice of chocolate fudge, thanks, so yeah, that's, you know, I want to, help other people I've had quite a few people sort of Facebook mail me email me and you know contact me in various ways saying you know that it's helped them realize that themselves have got um, a problem um, and that they want to take the next steps and stuff because it is really difficult like I can like I was in such a state of denial for so so long um, you know like I had my hat my like wonderful flatmates telling me you know, like, oh, you know, you don't need to lose any weight, you're fine, and if anything, you just put on. Um, I had my partner at the time sort of saying, like, you know, you're, you're ill, you need to, like, get some help. Like, this isn't, this isn't normal. Um, and that you need to sort of do something about it. But you just don't... Yeah, it's really weird. It's sort of crazy. Um, and it's amazing that your brain can just, like... I say brain, like, you can make your brain push out something which is perfectly rational, which is like, you know, you should eat, you shouldn't bring your feet back up and that sort of stuff. Um, like, it's, it's weird. But yeah, after, you know, I was in a complete, absolute shut-off point 
why I wasn't listening to anyone and pushed people away, which isn't nice. And then obviously, like, we came to a point, like, asked about with laxatives as well, which isn't cool. Um, you know, I got to that point where, you know, my sister rang me up and was just like, like, seriously, dude, you know? <laughs> so that was, like, you know, a big defining moment in it. And then everyone goes through that stage of realisation where you just, you know, suddenly something just clicks in your head and it's just like, uh, holler, you know, something's wrong. So, yeah, so thank you for everyone that's sort of like, and you're always so strong and stuff, it's nice, it's quite humbling. Um, the, one of the first questions was, you know, why do you think people get eating disorders? Um, I think it can be a number of reasons, like, I'm not overly sure, like, <coughs> why, um, I had an issue. I mean, I sort of, like, I did get fat and friends would be like, oh no you weren't, you just put a bit of weight on it, like, no. I was 11 stone, like, in fact, it was more than that, I think I was, like, 11 stone, 8 at one point, almost 12 stone, so I was, like, you know, 11 and a half, just over 11 and a half stone, um, so I, that, for my height and stuff, that is fat, I don't care what anyone says, um, and, oh, my mind just went blank again, what is wrong with me, seriously, um, yeah, and I began dieting, you know, I just, cut the crap out, that's all it is, it's just like, so many people eat such like, unnecessary foods, which are, they're supposed to be treats, but they're not treats if you eat them every day, like, so, you know, just cut the crap out, and you give yourself a treat day and stuff, you know, you get into the whole like, dieting thing, and with my dieting and the exercise, like, I did see like, I did see like, me losing weight pretty quickly, and you know, it's exciting, you're like, oh my god, I fit into this, and I look, I can wear this now because I, I'm, like, thin enough, and then, I think I just carried on, and then I had a lot of, like, stressful issues and stuff, and a lot of personal things that, like, sort of break you down one by one, and all those things that are uh, personal for me, which are really stressful, which I had absolutely no control over whatsoever, yet the one thing I could control was, like, what I ate, even. Um, and it's the same now, I'm still very like, okay, if that's got this amount of fat and I'm not eating it, and if that's got so many calories in this and I'm not eating it, I want the light version and stuff, and that's just me being health conscious now, because now I just want to be healthy, and you know, do the healthy eating, good exercise regime, so I think that's really important, that it's not just about like eating a salad instead of a burger, it's, you know, you've got to put the exercise in with it. I'm like, by the way, I don't just live off salad, like if anyone's like, trying to pick up on diet and it's like, no, that's not what you should do, you, it's just really important to sort of, um, find a balance, because that's quite hard to do in life sometimes, is balance things, and that's what it's about, it's about control and stuff, I guess, but, yeah, I mean, like, I'm not 100% like, like I did, like, I, everybody has bad days of this, and I have had, like, a few vomit, live vomit, situations. <clears throat> Sorry, yeah. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a long road to recovery, but I say recovery, I've not had like an illness or anything. Well, I guess it is, but I mean, you know what I mean, you see what I'm saying. Romeo done on that sitch. Um, and like sort of how to deal with it. I mean, everyone deals with it in their own like sort of different way, like some people obviously come around and realise a lot sooner than other people, um, some people don't, some people, you know, I mean, regardless as to when and how fast you get better, it's, people don't realise that it's like, obviously I'm a lot better now than I was before, and I'm sure many people are, and some people aren't at that stage yet, everyone goes at their own pace and stuff, but a lot of people don't realise that it's always going to be there, like, it's always going to be, you know, back of your head, like, oh, I'm going to eat some cake, and then there's that, always that voice, like, so I'm using cake as an example, like, hang on, like, okay, let's go for, oh, I really want some sweets, I really want some sweets, and then there's always that voice next to it saying, like, no, you're going to get that, and, like, you can't get rid of that, it's always going to be there, and it's just sort of, like I said, finding a balance, like, right now, I've done, like, a nutritional course and stuff, um, and, you know, you just give yourself a treat day, so if you want something, you have it, and 
you know, you eat at certain times because I'm, and pardon me, sorry, that was so disgusting. Um, when you know you have like snacks and stuff and you keep going through the day, you just make sure you exercise and stuff. It's, yeah, it's good. So, yeah, I guess that's eating disorders. I'm kidding. Okay, um, but yeah, so that's my like viewpoint on that and stuff. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, if you want any more questions, or like, want me to discuss anything, like if you think there's any like, world issues, um, or like just anything that you found hilarious to talk about, like, I don't know, like, oh my god, oh like Gemma off Towie being an absolute disgrace, she's so embarrassing, something like that, something like funny, because let's, let's all be honest, right, some of the people don't know. Yes, you do. Not in a nasty way. I just mean, like, when someone does something funny, you can't but laugh. So, yeah, so if you want me to, like, discuss anything, or talk about anything, or... Yeah, that's it, I guess. But, okay. Bye!